the first sentence says that Ching Kai had 12 more marbles than Arun and this is shown in the diagram here as you can see this small little portion refers to 12 more marbles that Ching Kai had now the next sentence is the most important Arun gave Ching Kai 13 marbles so now I'm gonna do something to Arun's model this part of 13 I'm going to transfer over here. Okay, so this is done. That now, the second part, Ching Kai now had twice as many marbles as Arun. Since Ching Kai had twice, which means two units, the entire thing all the way here is equal to two units. And Arun would have one unit, bearing in mind that this thin is already gone. So this is one unit. From here, I'm going to draw a line down. What does this line mean? This one unit would be the same as this one unit on top. Correct? So since Jing Kai had two units, and this one unit is the same as Arun, the other part, although it is longer, is actually equivalent to one unit as well. So I'm going to draw a tire circle. This entire unit is equal to one unit as well. Sometimes when you draw a model, it may not seem equivalent to the parts that you are drawing, or it may seem strange that one unit is not equivalent to the others that you have drawn, because it is just a representation and it may not be equivalent. Okay, So this one unit, I can find out how many marbles there are. So this part, I know how many there are, because it's 13. It's the marbles that Arun gave to Jing Kai. Then this part is 12. And I have another part, which Jing Kai received from Arun, which is 13. So the total will become 1, 2, 3, 38. So the question says, how many marble did Ching Kai have in the end? Ching Kai has two units, so 38 times 2 equals to 76, and that's the answer.